Uh, good evening, guys, or I guess good morning at this point. Um, it seemed like you guys focused on uh, improving the trenches in the second day. Um, was that a priority for you guys, or is that just how the board felt? No, you know, when uh, Brian and I, you know, got together here talking about you know, when we first hired, we always talked about building it from the ground up. And uh, the big part for us was find the right types of guys that fit, you know, what Brian and the coaching staff want, you know. And uh, for us, we've always talked about building. And, uh, and that's how you win in this league, you know, have the D-lines. And so we have great value. We're excited to have them. We feel really good about the picks. Oh, uh, yeah. I agree, agree with Chris. Um, just felt good about, um, you know, Robert, Raekwon, uh, Brandon. Um, all three picks, all, all um, tough physical players, um, you know, fundamentally sound. And, uh, but, you know, I like all rookies, he's got a long way to go. And, uh, a lot of improvements to make. You know, hopefully we can get them as soon as possible. Adam Beasley. Yeah, this is a question for, uh, for Chris. Did you guys try to move up for J.K. Dobbins? I know he went one, one spot before. Uh, you pick was there was there any conversation about moving up for Dobbins, uh, and also has have there been any conversation with the Jaguars about Leonard Fournette? No, we've not had any conversations with anyone. Um, and for us, with the board, we're we're calling teams all the time up and down, but we don't specifically move up to go after any real specific player. Steve Wine. How much better do you feel you've gotten in the offensive line in the last two days? I think there's a lot. We don't have the players. I mean, look, when guys don't play for a long time, you know, it's 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 hard to to say, you know, you're you're better at this or better at that. We've got to get them here. We've got to get them the terminology. We've got to, um, you know, work together as a group, as a unit. I think we feel we feel good about the players we've selected, uh, but at the same time, there's a there's a there's a long road ahead. Um, we we'll start we we'll start by getting them here, which you know, with all that's going on, that's you know, there's some uh, uh, obviously that's an obstacle and uh, something we're going to have to uh, find a way to get them the information, the terminology, the information, you know, through through uh, you know, obviously these types of platforms, uh, but. Look, I mean, it, uh, on the offensive line or the defensive line, uh, it's a team game. We got to get to know each other and, and trust each other and build the communication. Uh, so we've got a long way to go. Chris Perkins. Yeah, um, Flo, I wanted to know how close you are after two drafts and, and the, the free agency to getting the type of player that you want. I know you want tough players, you want versatile players. How close are you to having a team full of the guys that you want right now? You know, I think, I think, uh, I think there's a lot of guys like that in our, in our building, you know, prior to the draft. And, you know, we, every year, every team you know, brings in new players, whether it's through free agency and, you know, every, every team's picking, uh, picking new players during the draft. So, um, you know, every year is a little bit different. Um, uh, building a team and building that camaraderie, communication, it's different every year. Um, as far as, uh, you know, specific players, um, you know, we've targeted guys who, um, you know, fit the Miami Dolphin criteria. Guys were tough, guys were smart, guys were able to play and compete. Um, you know, I think we had a lot of guys like that on our team a year ago as well. So, um, you know, Chris, myself, the personnel staff, the coaching staff, we'll always try to, um, you know, get those kind of guys in our building. Um, in all in all areas, you know, coaching, scouting, playing, you know, anyone who enters the building, you guys have heard me say that, and I think that'll change. You know, the more guys we we get, you know, who, who fit that bill, and we we'll, uh, hopefully we'll improve. But again, we've got to get out there. We've got a long way to go. We got to practice. We got to you know, get in the meetings and get into walkthroughs, and you know, we're, we're we're a long way off from that. You know, given what's going on, uh, but hopefully we uh, we. Uh, you know, get back going, you know, once, you know, at some point, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that we have, uh, you know, we get back to practicing, but obviously there's, there's a lot more, uh, you know, pressing issues out there. So, um, you know, when, it, when the time is right, we'll, we'll hopefully, you know, 
build a, 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 a team that communicates, works well together, and is improving daily. Joe Shad. Chris, I see Robert Hunt listed as a tackle. Did you guys draft him uh, first and foremost as a tackle? And then also, if you could talk about what you think his best traits are. Well, Robert, you know, can play right tackle, can play right guard. So for us, you know, he's going to come in and compete for a job. So, you know, Brian's talked about it, it's competition. So, you know, that's one of the things we like about him with uh, some position flexibility to play those things. But the traits we loved about him was uh, his competitiveness. He's a tough, physical player, uh, plays with an attitude. He's got good football intelligence. It's important to him. And so a lot of those, you know, criteria and qualities that, you know, the coaching staff is, is looking for, uh, this kid has them. So we were, we were very excited. And uh, after we took him, Brian and I got multiple texts from people on other teams, and that was their guy. So um, we're happy to get him, and uh, I think he'll be a good fit. And looking forward to him when he gets here, when he gets here uh, to work and get on the field and, uh, and compete for a job. Omar? With Raekwon Davis, there was so much production his sophomore season, and then his play kind of tailed off. When you guys did the evaluation, where did you feel like he was in terms of the reasoning for that? limited production. I, I think, you know, people talk production and they want to talk sacks. And, uh, you know, Brian's mentioned it before. That this kid, is, uh, he's created a lot of opportunities. He's had plays where, yeah, he's been and falling off stuff. But uh, the one thing he is, he's big, physical, he's tough. He stops the run. And, uh, and I, I think as a kid, you know, he's been maturing over the years. And this kid, we're, we're really happy to get him. And, you know, we didn't have any qualms about him, and I know Brian and the coaching staff and the scouting staff were uh, really excited. And we always had him rated as a high-rated player for us. Yeah, you know, I just piggyback on what Chris Chris just said. You know, Omar, I've always, um, you know, told players that you can play a, a great game and have no stats. You know, if you set the edge every time, if you're in your gap, if you make every tackle, if you're, you know. Uh, force the ball where, wherever we want to force it. If you make your block, you know, you can have literally can have, you know, nothing on the stat sheet, but um, we'll play a great game. I, you know, I'm on record saying that to players, you know, dating back, you know, as long as I've been coaching, I, I truly believe that. So, you know, when you, people say statistics, you know, I, I, when I see Raekwon, I see a guy who's, you know, defeating blocks and you know, taking two blocks and, um, you know, creating, creating, um, you know, creating plays for his teammates. So, um, I mean, there's a lot of hidden statistics that I look at personally. Um, and I think he's, you know, I think he does a good job of maybe in some of those hidden stats. Alan? Uh, hey, guys, this could be for either one of you. With uh, Brandon Jones, how much was special teams part of his appeal to you guys? You know, it's his whole game, so. Um, he's a good football player. He's smart. Uh, he, he tackles. He covers. Uh, he can play on teams. Um, you know, if someone, you know, you know, met him at the Senior Bowl and uh, the coaching staff, Brian, was going to feel really good about him. And the more we got to spend time, and, you know, they showed that thing about him watching every team, studying every play. And, um, so, uh, now he's a really good football player and uh, an all around football player. A lot of stuff the coaching. Staff is always cool. Adam Beasley. Uh, Chris, you have, I think, nine picks tomorrow. Do you intend on using them all, or are you going to think about moving a little bit? Yeah, like I said, we'll always look for every opportunity we can to you know, improve and do what's best for the roster and, uh, and the organization. So, um, yeah, we'll be moving around. We may pick them all. So who knows how the day unfolds? The draft is always kind of a We'll see how it unfolds. All right, we'll do a final question for Travis. Hey, guys, this question probably more for Chris, but I'd love to get your take on it as well. So, uh, on the field, Brandon Jones checks a lot of boxes playing safety in lots of special teams. But I wanted to ask you about his request to get all your defensive tape in the pre draft process. How much of that type of thirst for knowledge and preparation help bump a player's grade on your guys' board? 
Well, yeah, I mean, just, you know, what we said earlier, um, you just speak for the and, uh, you know, I won't speak for Brian, but thoughts, but um, we talked to the people at Texas about, you know, three years started what there that you know, all the qualities and tangible things everyone uh, liked. Uh, well, I, I mean, I'd say first and foremost, he's a good player. I mean, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want guys to feel like if they just show up and you know show us that they they watch a lot of tape that they're gonna you know we're gonna draft them. Um, that's certainly not the case. I mean, this guy's a guy who um, he's smart and that's a you know, he communicates and that's obviously an important part of the game. But you know, he can run, he tackles, um, he does a lot of good things physically. And um, uh, while that's a that's that that was you know impressive. You know, the, the, what we saw on the field was where we, we were, you know, the, the, the lion's share of the evaluation was made. 